Hello everybody, Logan ISL here, and welcome back to Towers Dunleje. Today we'll be looking over Tower of Zezplez, and you might be asking, Logan, why are you uploading this now? Don't you still have Towel, Ultimately Terrifying, Extreme Dystopia, and really nasty ideas to do? Well, yes, but this tower recently got a ton of updates and a lot more people are playing it. So I thought I would go ahead and sit down and show a guide of how I beat this tower. I will warn you, this is the hardest remorseless and hardest non-soul crushing difficulty tower in the game. So this tower is really hard. Also another thing to mention that this tower is all about puzzles. It's even in the name, Zezplus is an anagram for puzzles. If you want to go ahead and attempt this tower, be prepared to have a ton of remorseless towers under your belt and be prepared to have potentially quite a bad time with this tower. Also, please watch the entire video before deciding to do this tower or not, as I give some very valuable opinions at the end and show you how to do two broken parts in the tower on floors 8 and 9. Floor 1 is the uh, most straightforward part of the tower, I should say, and it begins with some long jumps and three falling platforms. Press this button at the end and go back to the final falling platform and go through the one stud squeeze on the bottom. These jumps might go ahead and throw you off a little bit at first, but nothing to worry about. At the end here, you'll see this kill brick hallway, but go ahead and go through this hole on the side and walk down to the truss and climb that truss up to the top. When you get to this ladder, go ahead and flick off onto the platform over to the left side here, and be very careful of this conveyor. It's a little bit weird. I don't really know how to explain it. Here you'll come to this truss. You cannot flick it. Just walk around it and jump off. Press this button and don't hit the transparent wall on the left and head back to that truss from earlier where you'll be able to climb it all the way up and onto the second floor. This tilting platform is a little inconsistent, however I noticed if you only tilt it on the bottom left and top right corner, it makes it way more consistent and you have a lot more control over it. On this falling platform, jump right before the platform turns invincible. These two platforms here fall, and be careful of this very long jump here. All four of these platforms ahead fall as well. Hit this zipline on the far right side to not get swallowed up by the kill brick. Fall back down to where the zipline was and go ahead and climb up the truss onto the third floor. Wait for the moving platform to get to you and prepare to have quite a long ride with it too. These one stud wide poles drop and go on the right side to hit this button and continue on to the road to platform. Here's my first handy skip trick for you. Go ahead and pull off a flat wall between the first and second stud from the end here and you will skip the worst part of this floor. When you get to the other side, go ahead and dodge these kill bricks from the conveyor here. This is a pushing platform momentum jump. You want to jump as soon as the shoving platform moves, if not while moving. Go down to the left side towards the button for a second handy skip. Hit your head on this tilting platform as soon as it's about to go back up again. This is a pretty tricky skip, however, it skips the worst part of the entire tower and will require some practice.
wait for the spinner part with the wall to arrive and go ahead and make it to the other side here. Wait for it again and repeat. If you're not careful, you can easily fail these jumps. Make sure your pushing platform is slow going into this kill brick or else you'll get pushed back into the kill brick and potentially die. This balloon is very tricky and very easy to fail. You need to stand on top of this balloon and right before it pops, walk over to the top onto the other side. Here's another skip, hit this balloon and immediately bail out and get your way over to this yellow stud on the 5th floor and skip one of the worst parts of the tower. If you fail, the balloon will be stuck on the ceiling in which wait for it to pop and land on the platform below you. Floor 5 starts with a climbing animation jump. Make sure you're towards the top of the ladder before you jump to the other side. There's no easy way to explain how to do this inconsistent zipline jump. Just use my timing shown here for guidance. Don't use centering keys here as this tightrope kind of tilts over to the side a little bit. Near at the end of this tightrope, I jumped to make this easier. Here's a cool alternative route in which I recommend. For this conveyor, land on the transparent studs on the right side. Jump at the edge here to get onto the truss to prevent falling off. Go ahead and edge off onto the beginning of floor 6. Jump on top of the sign onto the zip line. Press space to get off the zip line, press the button, go down the conveyor, and go back onto the truss and hold space to climb up the truss very fast. These tightropes are icy. When you pass the first tightrope, you're supposed to do this weird slide thing. Personally, I just go ahead and ignore it and do a climbing animation jump onto the other side. A note of reference, all platforms with these weird X things means that they're made of ice. These balloons don't give you enough time, so you must phase right through the kill bricks. On the second balloon, make sure to go on the left side to prevent from hitting the conveyor and getting yourself flung out the tower. Be careful of this conveyor that goes right onto ice. Here, we see almost messing around. However, this puzzle is very simple. It's literally just the colors of the floors so far on the frame. Make sure to not screw it up because depending on which one, you'll be teleported all the way to the bottom of the tower. Jump at the top of this truss here to prevent getting teleported all the way to the bottom of the tower.
Be careful of the zip line, because if it sways, it is likely you're going to fall into the water and die. Welcome to Floor 7. If you've been using the techniques that I've been using so far, this floor is likely the hardest floor of the entire tower, so be warned. Wait for this moving platform to come back to you before hitting the button and taking it for a ride. Welcome to what is in my opinion the hardest part of the tower. When you climb up the truss, you must look below you and use these for reference. This is essentially a mirrored platform part, except it's vertical, and it also includes one studs. You can see some of the blocks, however, they're very hard to see on video, and I think it's personally easier if you just use your muscle memory here. These walls are all fake. You can just phase right through them and just continue down to the tightrope to the second puzzle. This puzzle, you're supposed to use these three parts here, and depending on how they show up at the beginning of each level, you go ahead and do them in that order. Personally, I just go ahead and you can easily see these while doing a run, and that is what you see me do here. I just look for the transparent platforms and just deal with it that way. It's just personally way easier in my opinion. Climb up this truss, get teleported, and walk up to the 8th floor here. Remember when I said at the beginning of this video that this tower has some broken parts still? Well, here's one of them. This loose platform is way too loose. You're supposed to wedge the red side of this teleporter to the end here. However, it's really hard to do so, and requires a ton of time and a ton of patience. There's no real strategy, and as you can see, I got very lucky, and this was a little bit off, but I was still able to teleport. If it gets too out of control, you can use the purple button at the bottom to go ahead and regenerate the puzzle. Here, look for the one stud, go ahead and climb up, and this section here conveys you onto the final puzzle of Floor 8. Remember when I said that Zezplez was an anagram for puzzles? Well, this is where it comes to play. It comes with some very complex problem solving. However, the order is this. 6, 7, 1, 5, 2, and back. 6, 7, 1, 5, 2, and back. It's that simple.
Go to the left side here and make sure to take the left tightrope or right from where you're facing the question mark because the other one has a conveyor and that isn't so chill. This memory section is simple. Middle, left, left, middle, right. Here's the second broken part of the tower. This thing that you're seeing here slowly spinning is broken and it's been broken because of some physics updates. You want to wait for this to slowly spin over and at the perfect time, press the button and go over to the other side. You don't want to go too late where it's so tilted where you can't make this wrap onto the ice part here. Don't push this wall either or else you can literally mess up the entire puzzle, so be very careful. Be very careful on this ice part and be very slow as it's very easy to mess up. Wait patiently for this thing to slowly spin toward you. Land on it and continue down the ice path. When you get to the final ice platform, just walk onto the normal platform and jump onto the safety net. Do not drop down onto the spinning pushing platform until the button is finished or else you'll phase right through it. This platform is very easy, however, it's not very responsive, so keep in mind of that while doing this part. Jump off and welcome to floor 10. You have this massive safety net below you, however, don't feel very perfect here because the sides toward the edge of the frame are absolutely exposed and you can fall below the safety net. And there are some parts, and actually most of the parts on this floor, are over the non-safe part. So be very careful and still be just as cautious as you were before. This platform is a little hard to move. However, I noticed if you push it and rotate in the same time with shift lock, it's way easier to move. Use my actions as reference. I'm pretty sure this tightrope is icy and go ahead and hit this balloon. This balloon will never pop, however please note that when you come over to this part you are over the exposed part, so therefore you can fall below the safety net. That's why I ask you to transition to the right side here and while climbing, lightly tap space to get rid of it, jump at the edge of the ladder so you jump, press the button, and continue on shown here. This jump is very precise and tricky and might take you a few attempts. Here you want to pop this balloon at the perfect time. The timer above you is your friend. However, I notice every single time I make it here, it's a little bit different. On this attempt, I spend 12 and a half seconds before going over to the other side. When you're over the ice part here, make sure to hold space to nullify the ice. This conveyor section is very simple, just follow my lead here. This part here is very complex and will be a bit hard without practice. You want to press the button and you have 30 seconds to get onto the loose platform via the balloon. During these 30 seconds, 
you need to make sure you make this loose platform as vertically as possible. Toward the end, you want to bail out. You'll see why we're doing this here in a few seconds. Roblox physics is very weird, am I right? When you're confident in yourself, go ahead and take the balloon now up to the upper level. Now, time your jump perfectly to make it below the loose platform onto this little section here. Just when you thought it was over, you get trolled and are taken to a final stretch. While this might look very simple on video, this final stretch is very rage inducing and annoying. You have 120 seconds to complete this final section. Start off by regenerating a push box cart and continue to the middle of this spinner section thingy. If you mess up, there's a button deactivator on the top of the truss which you can set off to restart the timer. Push this box into the corner here and press the button, and try and go back one level. This is where now it gets a little bit complicated. This is the worst part. It is very hard to get back on this platform cart while pressing this white button. Make sure the platform is slowly rotating so it's hitting this platform here so you can walk on back onto the push box cart. This time, go to the other half of the middle and wait for the two white walls to show up and go through. Go ahead and make these final jumps and get on top of the entire spinner section. Wait for the truss to come up to you. Go ahead and climb up the truss and enjoy your reward. I really enjoyed this tower and liked it, however, I knew I would hate this tower a lot if I did it without skips. This tower is very technical and can get on your nerves easily. Because of this, I would actually not recommend people to try and beat this tower. There are way better remorseless towers out there, and I think this tower can simply just be a skip. However, if you want to challenge yourself to beat the hardest non soul crushing tower, this tower is definitely a go-to, however, prepare to get very mad and very frustrated in the process. Tomorrow, the old intense version of Towel will release for y'all to see, so keep that in mind that this is not the newer challenging version of the tower. Thank you very much for watching. In my opinion, this is the most confusing tower in Jupiter's Towers of Heck, so I really hope this guide helped you and potentially saved you from a ton of pain.